Hello everybody, welcome uh, to my living room and we're in front of the coffee table. So if, you've, uh, if you're a regular viewer to my channel that means we're going to be doing a locomotive unboxing. And uh, as the title suggests, it's once again a, a roundhouse locomotive. See if you can guess, as a bit of fun before we get on with it, which locomotive it is. Uh, it's of a wheel arrangement that I haven't got yet. And uh, in my collection at the moment, the wheel arrangements that I have are a 040 tank engine, a 040 tender locomotive, a 262 tank engine, and a 040 040 Garrett, the roundhouse or jailing Garrett. This locomotive has, does not have any of those wheel arrangements. So I'll give you a couple of minutes if you want to pause the video and try and guess what locomotive it is from the round from the current roundhouse range that I bought. Okay, let's crack on with the opening then. I'll just get the box. Here's the box that it comes in. So let's crack on. As you may see, I have not, absolutely not opened the box yet. So, let's see what we've got. Okay. The first thing that we've got is a whole load of package material. I'll come in with a bit of a zoom there, you can see that. Okay, so underneath this package material somewhere is the actual locomotive, and I can see the... Oh, first of all, out of the side of the box, we've got the obligatory access accessory pack with uh, the oil, the water filler, the dust cloth, and a couple of allen keys and um, the gauge tool so you can uh, re-gauge the locomotive between 32 and 45 if you want to let's put that to one side see if there's anything else on the other side before we get pull the box out no so let's i'm going to stand up and see if we can get the box out Here we go. Oh, it's going to be revealed what the locomotive is. You ready? I don't know you can see it there. There we go. It's the Talisin. That's a 044 wheel configuration. Let's get this. Let's get the packaging out of the way and we can uh, open up the, the locomotive. Okay, we've got the locomotive itself in its packaging out of the, the postage uh, box. So let's open up and see what we've got. Take it very easy with the knife. There. So. Packaging then. I don't know whether you can see that. Lots of uh, bubble wrap with a uh, safety valve bonnet that's rather different from normal. It's got the extended piece on it from from uh, the Talisin. So we'll take and it's quite heavy. I'm prone to dints if you let it fall, so we'll just put that carefully to one side. 
Anything else? Yep. Yeah. As you may know, um, uh, all my locomotives are radio control and they already use the Fosworks radio control system. And uh, Roundhouse supply a uh, Fosworks uh, radio control system if you uh, as an option. So I've done that with this uh, with this locomotive with the Talisin. So here is the controller. It's uh, slightly different from the one if you get it uh, outside of Roundhouse, direct from Fosworks. This one has only got the one uh, down here. Has only got the one uh, control for the uh, speed regulator, and it's got a Roundhouse sticker on it. But uh, that's fine. There we go. So we're getting there. More packaging out of the way. Um, I'll leave that on for a minute, that bit of packaging, so you can see where it comes from in a sec. That's the book with all the bits and pieces. And we've got the locomotive. Let's see if I can get this out. If I tilt the box towards you, there's a bit of foam rubber on the outside, preformed. So we'll try and get all this out. Yeah, there it goes. Very careful. That's coming off. And this is a protector um, from something there. We'll have a look at that in a second. Okay, now we should be able to take the logo out. See if we can do that. Oh, I hope you can hear my grandson. Let's take this out. There we go. So let's get the, put the box to one side. There we go. Let's take the plastic off. Okay, I'm back again. I had to take a quick break. Um, we are babysitting my five month old grandson and he needed a little bit of attention but we're back now so let's get it out of its inner wrappings then the plastic uh, bag find out how we do that looks like it all has to go from this end very carefully okay so And it, oh, let's just tear it open, don't care. There we go. So there we are. In, uh, I must say I'm quite impressed with the blue, fantastic colour. So let's take the top off. And this is all the battery stuff, let's get that out for the moment. Alright. So it looks like the battery holder actually fits into the roof like this on this particular model. So when the battery's going there, got a battery pack here. Okay, this other bit here. Um, in this bag is the old um, gas, or the standard, I should say, gas regulator knob that fits here. I actually wanted um, the option of fitting this, uh, this, this sort. Why? Because I've got this one on, um, on Ernest, the, uh, the Bertie class locomotive from Roundhouse, and I find it a lot better to sort of feel what you're doing 
than the round one. And also, from an uh, from a uh, aesthetic point of view, I I find it looks more realistic than this big round one. So this is uh, what we've got then on here. So let's uh, just put all that stuff aside and let's just take in the locomotive. Put the roof back on. There it is. Let's have a closer look at the locomotive. So here we are then. I've got it on a length of track. Nice sort of side on view there. Doesn't it look fantastic? For those that don't know, um, the driving bogey, if you like, at the front, that obviously, um, that's got some movement in it, left and right. It's a sort of half garret system, if you like. And then obviously you've got um, the training wheels there, also on a bogey, so it can, uh, it can support the weight of the rear of the locomotive. So I'm going to turn it round this way. Slowly, I hope it stays in focus by you guys. There's a the front. It's got a very um, unique round curved edges um, to the front of the running plate. If you're hearing something in the background, that's <laughs> that's our dishwasher going. Sorry, sorry about that. And um, a very unique front, don't you think? And uh, going around again to the other side, let's move it around. We'll try and get a side on view for you guys. Large expanse from the side, side uh, water tanks there. And if I turn it around a little bit more, you can see hopefully that it's got a a water gauge in there so you can top the water up then we're going to go through to the back of the locomotive there we go hope that's in focus just move it to the center of the, of the camera there you go there's the back of the locomotive cracking very nice and then the side again there we go. Gas regulator as you've seen before. What we'll do, we'll steam it up outside on the rolling road. So let's crack on with that. So here we are the next day and it's not the ideal conditions for the first uh, steam test. It's just about above freezing out of the shadow. So here we are in the back garden, and there you can see my setup, the uh, Talisin on the rolling road. So let's crack on. Didn't have anything to worry about, started a treat. So we'll stop talking and just let you uh, listen and watch uh, the locomotive. I'll probably do uh, at least one more video zooming in about the details of this locomotive in the future. But until then, uh, hope you enjoyed it. <laughs>